Hi guys, good morning and welcome. Today's post I'm going to be sharing with you a pattern haul. But before I get into the pattern haul, I just wanted to show you this fashion sketch pad that I got recently and I picked it up from Salt's Mills after I'd seen someone else using it during my pattern drafting class and I just thought it was amazing. So it's basically got 380 figure templates, which is a faint outline of a fashion pose and the idea is that you draw on your design over it so you don't have to worry about getting the proportions right and all and um, yeah it's just it's really really great because I'm a person who has a lot a lot of ideas about things that I want to make or the different combinations that I want them to go with and it, it's just so much fun so Here's the first one that I've done so far, and this is to prepare for my swap um, capsule wardrobe. So it's got a yellow maxi dress and then a navy blue top, which has got some embroidery on it. But it's just fun because instead of having to worry about getting my proportions correct with regards to drawing, all I can do is just focus on the details that I want. So yeah, I was just really, really happy to find this, to discover that there's something like this. It cost me £10.99 and it's just amazing i'll be doing a lot of drawing and coloring with this okay right moving on to the patterns that i have got in the last month or so um so we're going towards christmas and i think there'll be a lot more pattern sales coming along because i just found out today that um, simplicity and new look are on half price here in the uk so yeah Okay, so I'll start off with something that I picked up on eBay during a late night eBay browsing session. And this is Vogue 9146. And it's a nice little dress with a fitted bodice. I'm actually thinking I might use this pattern for my little red dress, which is this um, challenge which is being run by Renata from Running and Style and Holly at Holly Sews. So yeah, I was very happy with this because I bought it for 99p. With ninety nine, with ninety five pence postage and packaging, so for less than less than two pounds for a Vogue pattern is good for me, really good. Okay, and another pattern that I got recently is Macaul's M seven four seven two. Macaul's had a half price sale um, recently, and I picked it up there for I think it was four pounds twenty five. That's it. It was four pounds twenty five, and I like this because it's a shirt dress with raglan sleeves, which is something that I've been wanting for a while. I didn't notice this pattern until Rosa, who also is a vlogger um, over at Rosa Pena, I think. I'll put the link down below. And um, she posted it as an October make and I just, I loved it and I went to buy it immediately after seeing it on her. So thank you, Rosa. <laughs> thank you for that. Okay. I also picked up um, McCall's M7430 during the McCall's half price pattern sale. And it's a very cute little dress, um, I think, which will go well with a lot of the pointy knits that I've bought recently. Um, so yeah, quite quite happy and excited with that. And this one is but Butterick 6388. And this is going to be a Minerva craft make. So this is a pattern that I selected from the Minerva, Minerva website. And I'm going to be making this as my January project. But I'm quite excited about it because it's a lovely sweater dress with some beautiful collar details. Right, and then Berda are also on half price sale and I pretty much started shopping straight away after I got the email through telling me that they were on half price sale. I picked up some wide leg trousers for my swap 2017 wardrobe. So first off is Berda style 6573 and these are semi fitted nautical style wide leg trousers and the second wide leg trousers that I got, um, this vintage Berda 6966 and they're almost like a palazzo but we'll have to see. So I have to make a twirl of each of these to see which one is my preferred wide leg trousers but at half price they're only £2.95 which I think is a really really decent price. I also bought myself a skirt pattern on a whim because it's got these flounces which I quite like and they're very similar to an Alexander McQueen skirt that I really like which is on my Pinterest boards. Um, oh and this was sorry this was Berda 6805, 6805. I also got this color block 
dress Brida 6851 and I've seen a few you know a few posts online where they've made this dress in really fabulous colors and it really comes out quite nice so I thought oh, okay I'll try it and I like the fact that you can also make it a top um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get on with this one this might be something I make next year something like that okay and then we move on to the menswear patterns that I picked up I got this lovely shirt semi-fitted shirt Berda 7525 which I think I'll make with a linen but this is more of a spring summer make um, for my other half see I do I do try and make stuff for other people besides myself which is pretty cool <laughs> and I also bought some um, a pattern for some jogger pants and it's Berda 6719 I already have the fabric for these um, and I will be making I'll be making them very soon actually because they're needed. There's a gap in the wardrobe for these. Um, and the funny thing is, they call this, these pants on the pattern envelope, but I really don't think that these are pants. These are joggers. You know, when you say pants, I don't think of that. But anyway, never mind. And the last pattern that I got is a men's slim fit shirt. And it's Breda 6874. I have high hopes and expectations for this because... Um, I haven't really made another men's shirt outside of McCall's M6044, which is a great shirt pattern, but I kind of feel like I need to try other shirt patterns. I've made four, yes, is it four or five? I think I've made four, yes, four. I've made four McCall's M6044, and I want to move on to something else just to see what else is out there. So I've got quite high expectations for this. I don't have a fabric for it yet, but I can go fabric shopping for it. <laughs> Okay, so that does my sewing pattern haul and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later.